kind of early in the morning. What time is it? It's 6.43 in the morning. I'm going to show you guys the secret sauce to, you know, setting the correct volume of your vocals and your beat. So making sure they, they match well with each other. So here's what I got. I worked on this little track for Snoop Dogg. Uh, hopefully he likes it. If not, then you know what it is. But I'm going to let y'all hear it. So let's get high off life. That's what it's saying. So um, pretty much, as you can tell, it sounds pretty good. And I'm going to show you how I accomplished this. So um, I do have a bus track for my uh, vocals right here. I'm going to mute that and I'm going to play the beat first and show you guys. This is all volume, no mixing, no effects. I'm just going to tell you guys this. So like when I do it, I usually keep my uh, beat track at like negative six or like negative, like no less, no more I mean than negative like five. So you see it coming up to like the six, watch. See right there. That's perfect for me like, and as you can see the output is down here too. So around negative six. But then, as you can see, it jumps up two to like negative one because of that boom, 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 boom. So I'm going to throw a limiter on that, but not right now. Don't worry about that right now. So I just leave that blank. And then I go over to the uh, vocals and I'm going to mute the beat. Roll it up. Light it up. Now, Take I have this hit. on zero, but you can see Roll again. that is like at the negative six also but like i would say probably around like negative 8.1 roll it up light it up kind of between hit. the negative six and negative 12 roll again which is perfect Grind it up. now for this part i knew i didn't want it to be too loud so i knew that now what well, we're going for the individual tracks i got these on the negatives just because i have a lot of amplification in my uh audio interface as you can see in these waves like everything you can tell by the waves so these waves are kind of matching these waves they're just maybe a little bit smaller so i kind of have these down instead of at zero um i have it at like negative 5.4 similar to negative six similar to the beat but i did not increase the vocal bus volume so i'm gonna play it together and you'll see how that just blends really well only a little bit So all together, let's look at the master, the main, right here. Roll it up, light it up, take a hit. Perfect. So we're going to go up a little bit more, but the way we're going to do it is I'm going to double click this, go to the post. So double click the main and I'm going to type in multi-band dynamics. So like when I'm doing my mastering, for example, I'm just going to pull up a preset. Uh, let's do the high res. And I'm gonna play it, and it should not peak. Roll it up, light it up, take a hit. Yep. Roll again, grind it up, let's break it down. All right, so you're like, okay, cool, cool, didn't peak. So now I can turn on my Pro EQ, and like of the entire track, anything I wanna like, this includes the beat and the vocals, like anything I wanna higher up. Uh, the highs a little bit. Now, uh, I made a video right before this on what to avoid. And, you know, when it comes down to mastering, you can bring your highs up over a little bit. Um, you, you can do that when it's the entire master track. Just because sometimes you want everything to go up. You already did your individual parameters. Now you can do your highs and your lows. So you'll see that a whole lot when it comes to mastering a whole track. So the blue will be a little over here instead of over here and that's fine on this roll it up light it up take a hit roll again grind it up let's break it down roll it 
now you see one clip. Even though it's only one, you still want to get that out. So what I'm going to do is go back to my post, type in a limiter on my post. All right. Now I'm going to go to 0 dB because I do want it at 0 dB. I'm going to go to K14 so I can see the red. Roll it up. And we're good. Take a hit. Roll again. Grind it up. Let's break it down. Roll it up. Light it up. Take a hit. Let's get high off. Roll again. Grind it up. Let's break it down. Let's get high off life. So, there you have it. Um, That's how I adjust. So, just to recap real quick. Make sure that your beat is... No louder than uh, negative six, but it does depend on your beat uh, over here. Like, if I were to import this beat and this beat was this low, obviously you can't do negative six on that because you imported it and it was too low, whoever bounced it to you. So, uh, if it looks like this, you know, like the wave spectrum doesn't look too small, then that's an indication that the beat was. It was probably at 0.0 when the person exported it to you. So it's good to just lower that down so it meets the volume of the vocal bus. And I keep this at zero and I turn down the parameters. But I also, um, instead of turning down the track parameters, um, I would like double click and maybe turn down the gain. It just depends on what it is that you're doing. So, uh, man, that's my tip. Uh, again, I didn't show my face this morning because look how early it is. I ain't finna show y'all what I'm looking like right now. But I do want to show you guys what the music is looking like right now. So appreciate you guys for watching. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, we're going to keep going up.